Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to solve part B of the third problem statement using Java. Now, without wasting our time, let's roll that intro in and I will see you in the other side. Welcome back everybody. And here's the problem statement that we are going to solve today. Write a Java program that implements a multi-thread application that has three threads. First thread generates a random integer for every one second. Second thread computes the square of the number and prints. Third thread will print the value of cube of the number. Now that's a quite simple one. Now let's try to implement and eventually see the output. Before that, I would like to tell you guys that as always, I have put the source code, error free source code in my GitHub repository. I'll put the link in the description below. Go and check it out. Now let's do the fun part that is the coding. Hello everybody. Here I'm in front of my iMac with the source code open and as you can see I have implemented several different classes and the reason why I have collapsed all of the classes is because if I open up all of the different classes you will definitely say oh my god what the hell Akhil has written. Now to prevent that I have done this <clears throat> we'll open up each of the class and try to understand what's going inside of it. Now let's begin with the first thread. Now inside of first thread class if you open up you will see I have declared a random integer variable which is responsible to hold the, uh, we are going to use it to hold the random integer value which we are going to generate. After this you can see I have implemented a function called as run which is responsible for core functionality of our entire application. You will see why. Inside the run function as you can see I have declared a random integer object which is used to generate a random integer. After that I have declared a while loop which is an infinite loop. Uh, the reason I have done it because uh, to generate random integer infinite times and to generate the square of the number to cube of the number infinite times so that it never stops. You can use for loop and run it for eight times or five times. It's completely up to your choice. I have done it for infinite times. Now inside while loop I'm using a try catch block and inside of it I'm generating a random integer and storing it and I'm printing that particular random integer to the user and I'm showing it to the user. And after that, as you can see, I'm declaring a thread two, which is responsible to run the second thread. And I'm invoking the start method of that thread. Now the same goes for thread three, but it is responsible for the running of the third thread, which is to generate the cube of a number. As you can see, I have written the comment, which is as simple as one to three, you can understand it. And for the thread three even, I'm invoking the start function. Now after this, if you look at the problem statement, they have mentioned for every one second, it has to generate a random integer. Now to do that, I have used thread.sleep1000 and the 1000 is 1000 tells us the number of milliseconds that we want our function to sleep so that that time, that particular time, any of the threads will not invoke. Now after this, to prevent, to catch any of the exceptions thrown by the thread or our random integer, we are catching it inside of our catch block and showing the message to the user. That's all it. And that's the functionality inside the first thread. Now let's look inside the, the th second thread. Now for the second thread, as you can see, it's implementing a runnable interface. If you open up, you will see I have declared another variable called a square of a number, which is used to store the value which we are going to generate. That is the square. Now, if you look at the problem statement, it states second thread computes the square of the number. Now that particular number is the random number that we have generated. Now, if you might wonder where did we, where are we going to get that value? Now, as you can see on the line 50, here we are declaring new second thread and we are passing the random in parameter. Now that particular object invokes the constructor, which we have declared here and automatically calculates the random, uh, the square of the random integer. Now, suppose it's say it's five. Now the square of five will be 25. Now that will be saved in the square of the number. And as you can see, after that, I have decided, I have declared another run function, just like what we have done in the first thread. As you can see here, I have declared another run function even in thread. And this particular function does nothing but just to print the square value that we have calculated. Now that's quite simple one. If you just, if you guys just read it, you will understand it. There's nothing more calculation other than finding the square. Now, if you go for the third thread, which does exactly the same job. But if you look at the problem statement, it says third thread will print the value of cube of the number. Now that's the difference. If you open up, even if 
it implements a runnable interface i have declared the same variable which names as cube of a number we are going to uh, what you say we are going to calculate the cube of the number and going to store inside of it and we are going to display inside the run function now this does exactly the same job as second thread but it does only the difference is here in the second thread we are calculating the square and in the third thread we are calculating the cube of the number now that's it for the functionality and now let's look at the part b actually in part b i have declared only main function and inside of it i have declared i have uh, invoked the first thread object and invoking the start method of the first thread now that runs our entire program and that's it we don't need any scanner on anything Vagera Vagera stuff. So let's look at the output and try to find out what we get. Uh, here I'm on my terminal with the appropriate directory on that is program 3. Now let's try to invoke the Java program by typing Java part B dot Java. Right. Now as you can see the loop is running infinite times. It will never stop until and unless you manually try to stop it. As you can see at the first case first thread is generating a random integer and at the second time it's generating the square value the 43 square is 1849 and the cube of 43 is 79507 so that's it for this and if you guys see if you guys look out it will never stop and it repeats the process for every one second and it never stop until or unless if you are a mac os user just type control z and it will stop and for probably windows user you need to press ctrl d i think so try it out you will get it now with that said that's the end of the program that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it learn something new and if you guys like this video hit the like button let me know what you guys think in the comment section below like that kind of interaction you know and i'll see you in the next video until then have a great one